welcome back to one of my SketchUp tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to make a log home. Um, not to make the full log home, but rather to show you how much I really like the trim feature in SketchUp Solid Tools. And um, we're going to basically be working on a wall intersection. You can then later on uh, create the whole log home <laughs> all by yourself. But, but this shows you the principles of how you can use those solid tools for, for this particular purpose. So let, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to need our logs and I'm going to simplify things here. I'm just going to um, draw them right on there and make them untextured. Obviously, you can you can you can texture those and that is most probably a good idea to make this look good but for us so that you can see things and for us to get get things started that's a really good start to start basically untextured now here's the first one this one is going to be a half log to get things started now we're going to need a crossing one There you go. And that one needs to be placed too. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, so that's that's a good starting point. Um, if you've seen log homes, of course, uh, you wouldn't just do it like this. You would actually overlap them a certain amount. So I'm going to overlap those by 12 inches, uh, i.e. a foot right there. And then, of course, they are offset as well. So the next one goes up like this. Okay, so that's uh, the, the, the starting geometry, basically, because from here on out, it's just a lot of copying. However, um, one thing that we want to do is we, we don't just want to... Um, have those sit on top of each other because, as you know, uh, logs are not straight, and t uh, um, you know they, you, you basically need to deal with the, the the overlap and the intersections. And so one way is to basically cut one out uh, by a certain amount and then place them that way. So this is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to place them just like this. I'm going to place them 11 inches upward. And I'm going to make a bunch of copies right here. So I just used SketchUp's copy tool. So with the move tool, I moved it up, turned it into a copy tool, uh, gave it the 11 inches. And then, of course, without doing anything else, as long as you type in X10 or whatever, or uh, you know, star 10, we'll then multiply this several times. So that is our starting position. Now, um, having done that, you know, of course, from log homes that they don't look like this. <laughs> you would cut these out wherever there's an overlap, um, just like that. And then, of course, the bottom part here needs to be cut out too. So let's let's do that. And this is, again, um, where I really like the solid tools. So I'm going to just pull that out a little bit right here. And as you know, solid tools has a bunch of options. There's intersect, union, and so on and so forth. But for anything that has to do with timber framing <laughs> and wood and, and yeah, block homes in this case, the trim tool is really useful. So I'm going to use the trim tool. And what you can do then is you can basically cut away this overlapping bit, but leave the rest. So now I, oh, hang on. There we go. So let's start. You'll see the little number next to it, of course. You would do one and then two. And now you see what happened. Now I'm cutting out this overlapping bit out of number two. If you look at the cursor right now, it still says two because you could do multiple operations that are always based on one, which does not make sense in our case. So I'm going to hit escape once um, so that this switches back to one. And I can now click the second one and then the third. And then it works. So you can't just keep going. You can't click the next one. You have to now, again, hit escape, or you can click somewhere out there. I'm going to do escape, and then one, two, and then you just have to make your way up. But this goes fairly fast. Yeah, I could have <laughs> also copied it. 
But for that matter, we'll do it this way for now. There we go. Okay, so that's all good. Um, next, we need to cut these guys out. And we'll do that in the same fashion. We'll have to now, of course, cut one over the other, you know, and then this one over that one. So, so here we'll do one and then two to the right. And you already see this cut out right here. And again, I cannot keep going because now this becomes my one. So I have to hit escape and then one, two, escape, one, two, escape, one, two, and so on and so forth. So actually I'm going to get rid of all of these fellas here because that's not what we needed. Um, and you can see real nicely now, when I move this up, how these are cut out. And that's all because of the trim tool and because everything is you know, cleanly modeled, you can use the trim tool. Um, obviously every piece needs to be a solid, but I was careful modeling, so, so then it'll remain a solid, uh, basically. <clears throat> and then these two cutting operations give me that overlap. All right. So now, of course, you can <laughs> use this to plan things. So you can you can 3D print this and make your own Lincoln logs or whatever. But um, that's one way to doing this. Okay. So now I'm gonna fix what I did earlier. So this goes up 11 and then times five or something like this. So now I've got my my wall right here basically. Okay, so there's that. Now, uh, another uh, common thing and the next step would then, of course, be that you cut out openings for doors and for windows. And there's different ways you can do this, but you can't just push pull on these walls, obviously. So now, one way that I like to do that is to just somewhere on the side here, draw my opening. And actually, I should do this a little bit more to scale because that was a little weird. But but basically, I'm going to do say, that's a little high. Anyways, pick and choose whatever works for you. Right there. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to extrude this. And, and this can be quite deep because, um, as you most probably guessed, what we're going to do is we're going to place that and then we're going to use the trim tools uh, tool to um, remove that from from the walls here. Now, quick quick note there. Actually, let me start by making this a group and placing it. Um, so let's say we want to do it there. Quick note there is, of course, um, in, in reality, you may want to do a tapered cut at the sides here. It very much depends on what kind of trim and how, however you detail this door. But at that point, what I would recommend, and I'm just going to show you here without doing it, is to get your actual dimensions correctly there and then taper it this way and then cut against that um, right there. But in our case, we're just going to do a straight cut because I just want to show you the technique. But but you can very easily do this this tapered cut as well. Okay, so now we've got the door. And again, we're going to use our solid tools for that. One thing that I want to do before I use the solid tools, however, is to, you know, extend this a little further. So, so I extended it towards the back. Um, but if it has, you know, very tight overlaps, then it gets a little tricky sometimes. So I would just go to the front here. Oh, actually, the height we need to keep as is. And then the bottom, we can pull it down a little bit. Because now we have this a little cleaner. Okay, so now again, we'll use the trim tool because um, subtract wouldn't work in this case because then, of course, we're subtracting this door void. But with trim, we can trim against it. So trim, number one would be the door or the <laughs> void. And then number two will simply be these locks. And this time I'm cutting them all against the door. So this time I can keep 
um, you know, you see the little cursor there, it says two, of course, I can keep number one being this void and then number two being all of these pieces and I can just click my way through and now I'm actually done. Um, and I can take this piece out and we get something here. So now, like I said earlier, of course, um, if, if you wanted to cut this any different way, make sure that that's part of the void um, so that you can cut that easier. Because again, right now, you know, with all of these curves, it's really hard to cut against those. Okay, so in principle, that's how you do a log home. <laughs> and again, this is not a full tutorial. This is not um, textured in any which way, and I'm not going to go any further into detail. And then, of course, up here with the roof, it gets a little tricky, but, but you can figure all that out. Um, the main thing here is really that the solid tools are, are a really great uh, helper, especially the trim tool um, for all of these, these overlapping cuts. All right, I hope this was useful for you and um, helps you with the next logo. <laughs> and I wish you fun with SketchUp. Enjoy.